Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Join our Facebook group, Discovering Newfoundland. Good morning from Winterton, Newfoundland. We're going to hike the Sugarloaf Trail today. It's right on the highway. There's lots of parking here. Not a very long trail. The, uh, we're going to hike 2.2 kilometers up to the Sugarloaf. There's a gazebo up there and probably some spectacular views. Uh, the day is pretty nice, calm, so we're looking forward to seeing what we see. At the start of the trail here, not that you can see, but we are going to be walking up quite the elevation. But the trail, look how wide it is. It's almost like a roadway here. We've come to a crossroads here. Um, we haven't seen a sign, but one section to the right looks like it's going uphill, so we're going to take that one. We see the gazebo on top there, so we believe that's where we're heading. So far the trail is great, it's nice and wide, easy to navigate. There are some uh, off trails, but if you just keep to the main road, you're good to go. And it looks like we did take the right uh, section at the crossroads. So far on the trail you can feel that you're walking an elevation, but it's kind of meandering, so it's been very easy. Uh, looks now like we're going to dip down into a valley and then somehow get up onto the top of that hill. Looks like there's a little atmosphere up there from the clouds. The root of this tree starts in the ground, but then it gets rooted sort of into the rock and kind of grows up and over. Yeah, it's really neat. Yeah. This is really neat. This, uh, these rocks here look like a bench. I don't know if that's natural or if somebody placed them like that. Hey, pretty comfy. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool though, isn't it? It is. We just reached the bottom of the valley and it looks like it's all uphill from here. We seem to like that all uphill, don't we? Yeah, we do. <laughs> hi ho, hi ho, up and up we go. Here's the start of our upward climb. Uh, the trail is still super wide. It looks a little more rocky here, but it looks like if uh, you know if you don't have any trouble climbing a hill, this trail should be good. The ascent has been quite long. You can feel the burn in your legs. I'm just looking behind here, and the view is beautiful. So I'm going to show you now. Here's the view I was talking about, and you can see how high up we are so far. But we still have a ways to go. We're a little closer. And I'm a lot out of breath. <laughs> Just turned around. Wow, what a view. Oh, stunning. We're at the bottom of the stairs and it's time to make our last leg. We made it to the top. And the views are absolutely stunning. All around we have views and we're gonna show you. Oh, wonderful. It's kind of too bad that it's not a little bit clearer because I'm sure you could uh, see right over to the Bona Vista Peninsula if it was nice and clear. Still fantastic. Not sure if it's coming through in video but you can see the atmosphere from the clouds right in front of us. Down below is the town of Winterton. That looks fantastic. I think we should uh, Go down there and show that to you. Yeah, we'll do a little exploring down there. It looks like a lovely little community. I mentioned the view on the way up, but the view here is just surpasses that view. It is phenomenal. Over this way, you're looking towards Turks Cove. Amazing shoreline there. There is another way to get up to this lookout point. Uh, it's on the Dibberville Trail between Turks Cove and Winterton. We're going to come do this hike one day uh, for that. And hopefully we'll plan for a clearer day so we can see the, the views. It's just unbelievable up here. Well, I'm sure it will even expose more once we have the precipitation gone. Yeah. It's starting to actually roll in, getting a little thicker up here. Yeah, you can see the fog rolling in over the horizon. It's fantastic up here. Up with the clouds. 
We're making our descent now and you can see the windy trail that we have to travel. So this is a great quick hike if you want to get a good workout in. Uh, it really gets your legs burning up and down. Climbing those hills, fantastic. And the end result gave you these absolutely phenomenal views. Just a great hike, great day, good workout. Yeah, we're going to uh, go and explore the town of Winterton. So if you want to see the town, stay tuned. down at the ocean's edge in the community of Winterton. It's beautiful down here. Great little community to spend the day wandering around. It's fantastic down here. Over there, the top of that is the Sugarloaf Trail where we just were. Two churches, one right behind the other. There's even a place here in Nate and Jane Ann's. And if you read the sign there, take out coffee, ice cream, and they even do picnic lunches. How great is that? Right here on the main road is a wooden boat museum. It's not open right now, but that would be awesome to come check out. Across the road from the wooden boat museum, there's a skeleton of a, looks like to be a large boat there. We're just walking along the back roads in Winterton. You can smell the wood fires burning in the houses. There's an old root cellar here. I bet this would bring back lots of memories for people who left Newfoundland. And where we stand right now, we have a great view of the little town of Winterton. It's quite lovely. You know, if you can't get out on hikes, these little communities are a great place to walk around and explore for the day. It is so beautiful. 